It's been a torrid opening to 2011 for Japan, with March's triple disasters of earthquake, tsunami and worries over the related nuclear fallout. HKTDC's outlook for the global trade picture features Japan director Shigemi Furuta. Shigemi, it's Japan's worst natural disaster probably that we've been seeing, and it's also been a slow motion disaster for the supply chain out of Japan. But do you think that those problems are gradually going away, or are they going to be there for some time? Well, the immediate shock actually being already gone, uh, the earthquake and tsunami already gone. And uh, certainly you said this is the first uh, experience that we have ever had in my life in the past 100 years, truly. But on the side of the gradual process, still things are not settled. And then the, all the information keeps coming every day in a different level. And then it gives all the anxiety to the entire people in, of Japan. What's the sort of feedback that you're getting from manufacturers, from people in the supply chain, where it comes to how they are doing business right now? And do you see that actually beginning to lighten up? Are people beginning now to see that by the end of the year, perhaps the supply chain will have come back and be the same as it always was? Well, what is sure for the moment we hear about this uh, car industry, at least uh, Toyota Honda have already announced that their full production resumption will be seen in July or August uh, uh, this year. So um, the electronic components and semiconductors and the LSIs and the uh, Micons, all these uh, high-tech electronic components for the car industry must be resumed. Uh, in accordance of their car uh, production schedule of the car industry. So that's something we hear. And that's vitally important, of course, for Hong Kong electronics manufacturers and certainly people in the supply chain here because many of the components, many of the high-tech chips and so forth all come indeed from Japan. And they sometimes have a bit of problem actually finding new supplies. So I guess even the Japanese manufacturers must know this is a problem. Definitely, yes. Um, and then... Um, in the course of the competition of the specialization of this kind of car industry and the whole world, and Japanese uh, car industry have created this kind of very specialized supply chain with only particular components used by particular car maker. It is not the standardized uh, components. So that is actually severely hit by the, uh, the dis disruption of the supply chain this, this time. So definitely this in the long run, the supply chain structure will have to be reviewed substantially. So meanwhile, come the end of the year, it's very much a sort of wait and see situation for Hong Kong manufacturers, for people in the supply chain in Hong Kong that are looking towards Japanese components and chips. It is a worry, but we know the answer is all depend on the power supply, power supply. And then when you think about a power supply, we have to think about the uh, uh, immediate future of the uh, nuclear plants which are operating in Japan, uh, which is currently 19 plants. And then uh, according to the recent uh, instruction of the government, they'll go to the inspection process by um, summer. And then after the summer, whether or not this uh, power plant will uh, start uh, operating again, that is a great issue. So it's, we are in the midst of this process. Very difficult to say. It all depends on power supply. Once power comes back, and then the production will come back. One hears that uh, many manufacturers, Japanese manufacturers, car makers, and others, are shifting their supply inexorably to China, to the Chinese mainland, to the Yangtze River Delta, to the Pearl River Delta, as and the, when they require. Where does that put Hong Kong? Where do you see Hong Kong as a, as a player in all of that? Relocation, probably, we definitely need the uh, corporate uh, decisions and then the uh, procurement of the fund, and then it will probably wouldn't come within a week or two. But before that, uh, manufacturers are considering of the substitution of the procurement of the components. Uh, some middle manufacturer or the, uh, the middle tier are not able to receive all the components from the first tier. Uh, so they will actually obtain from the uh, Hong Kong manufacturer or Korean manufacturer, Taiwan manufacturer, some kind of substi substitution of uh, components. So Hong Kong manufacturer definitely have the great opportunity to supply what level of the electronic components. For example, even power generator are very popular. And uh, recently, Korean uh, manufacturer received a very big order from the uh, uh, Japanese uh, service company to, to cope with the uh, power supply. So electronics industry in these uh, region of the Asia will probably have a great opportunity to deal with the shortage of the goods of the Japan's electronic industry for the moment. Shigemi, one hears, um, perhaps it's, it's a rumor, perhaps it's just what appears in the newspapers, but one hears that executives in Japan are actually to a large extent thinking of the opportunities that there are in, are in Hong Kong, and some are even relocating here. Do you hear that kind of a story? 
um, <laughs> not to my knowledge in the concrete cases, but uh, many companies already have spread out of this overseas uh, operation already. So within the companies, uh, definitely they will ship the portion of the production, the portion of the, of the uh, critical operation to outside Japan. That is definitely really possible. And uh, there's a great opportunity <laughs> and a great future of this uh, expanding the Japanese uh, electronics industry in this region, uh, Hong Kong and Paris River Delta. Mm. Well, she gave me roll on 2011, the end of, and of course 2012. Well, we hope there's better news. We'll leave it there. Thank you very much indeed.